you don't have to sell your house in Africa to go anywhere. If you figure a way to make money to build a house in Africa, you could figure a way to get bigger and build a bigger life here. You do not have to sell your house to go and clean dishes. You don't have to. If you could figure a way to make money on African soil, you are much better off and you're gonna be much wealthier with a power of compounding if you will stay the course. Africa is a great place to be. In this video, we are particularly talking about Ghana, right? Because not all African countries are created equal, right? Some places it's not as peaceful and you know, or it's more enjoyable. I'm not gonna put Ghana, you know, above other African countries, but since I'm used to Ghana, we're gonna talk about Ghana. How does it feel having money in Ghana versus being okay in the West? So I would take my good friend, which I'm not gonna mention the name, who moved to Ghana about a year ago, and the life he's living now, um, making less in Ghana, uh, as compared to the life he was living when he was back in the States. There's a huge difference, right? So. He's got a driver, he's got a chef, he lives in the beautiful big house, he's got two cars, and he had two cars in the States, but it's just not the same, it's much, much cheaper. He is still spending about 30% of the amount that he would have spent when he was back in the States. And his life is much better. He wakes up and does what the hell ever he wants, and he has mental clarity, and now trying to do other stuff right so that's what i'm gonna dive into i made a post not long ago that people in the west are working extremely hard to put up their houses in africa so that they can move back in the near future or you know when they retire and i also said that people are busy selling their houses in ghana trying to go to america or uk seeking for greener pastures and it's quite bizarre if you do think about it if you have a house in africa if you could be patient if you have a house in africa that means you did something that worked once upon a time in life and if you can build on that and you could be patient in the long run you're going to be much better off if you are living and you are going to the west and you have certain skills that can translate for you to use the same skills to work there and you have a short goal to come back no problem but i personally don't think it's worth it to sell your house to go to another man's country and start from scratch you know because it is not guaranteed fortunately people are not telling you the truth and people are not letting you know how hard it is out there it's not a joke there are people outside of ghana in new york uk that cannot give you 400 dollars if you do ask them for it in all honesty because do you think they are balling but they are not everything is on credit the money that comes in goes straight to bills and there's not much left afterwards taxes plus bills take most of their money that's the life of the average african outside it's not all like dandy and sweet out there however it's much easier for you to get a job so you're not going to be unemployed but it's a few that make it when i talk about stuff like this people point to me and say hey you came from Amer America, what are you telling me this? I'm not telling you not to move or go to America, go to school, whatever. You gotta remember, I was taken to America at a very young age by my parents. So I grew up there, I went to school there. I didn't have to start from scratch anywhere. I grew up there, right? And on top of that, my situation is a bit extraordinary. This is not the life of the average African in America. And as a matter of fact, nobody gave me this amount of money at such a young age. I traded stocks i learned how to trade stocks and that's how i was able to make it which means it didn't matter where i was in the world i could have made the same amount of money because i made it online maybe yes i was exposed what i'm trying to say is if you have a business in ghana or anywhere in africa that is working and you could see that if you are patient in the long run you are going to be much better off right there are a lot of very wealthy africans here that play the long game nowadays everybody want everything to be quick and we believe that once we leave ghana all our problems are solved but that most people find out quickly once they get to uk us wherever they are running to that that is not the reality at all the truth of the matter is if you can figure out a life that works for you if you could figure out a way to make money on African soil, you are much better off and you're going to be much wealthier with a power of compounding if you will stay the course and play the long game rather than running away and going to the West, especially to go and work because, you know, in New York where I was, 50% of your money is going to Uncle Sam and then you got your bills and all that stuff. It is not much left for most people 
to bring back home. I know way too many people in America that cannot afford a simple plane ticket to come back to Ghana and they come every five years. Have you, do you know anybody like that in your family who is not coming every year? They would love to. They can't. They can't buy that plane ticket and come. Let me break it to you. Somebody who went to America or UK, ah, UK is a bit closer. Their plane ticket is not as much. But somebody who went to America who is trying to come home needs to pay about $1,500 on a plane ticket. Uh, they need to pay like one month rent behind them, right? And they need to pay all the bills that they have. Most people have credit card, you know, debt, and they have a car, no, whatever they have. It's a lot of bills. Just to come to Ghana, most people need at least 7K, right? Just for bills before they come. And when you come down here in Ghana, it's not cheap, especially if you are trying to have fun, you're coming to family members. Most of us want to brag. We don't want to let people know the realities on the ground when we come we are bugger that has been a problem right the people that went to america in the past they didn't keep it real they didn't let us know how hard it is over there they just came here and they flexed uh, back in the days if the bugger comes to town the bugger for those of you guys who don't know bugger is a person who lived abroad america not uk a person who lived Amer in america but they, i mean they extrapolated that and gave it to people in UK, Switzerland, you know, you name it. But it, the word actually comes from America because Americans, you know, we like to swag, dress nice and all that. That's where the bugger comes from. Basically like swag daddy. And when we came down here, uh, you know, our grandfathers and, you know, our fathers, you know, 62 and above those age, ages, you know, they didn't share their struggles in America with us as I am sharing with you right now. I'm keeping it real with you. Okay. They came down here and Boga will be walking around with another human being carrying their water bottle for them. Just, you know, huge ego, bigger than life, right? And people got fascinated by that. The Ghanaian looked at them like, one day I want to be just like this man. I want to travel. I want to get out of this country and go make money and come down here and live just like this man. Later did the Ghanaian know that this man was busy, you know, cleaning dishes in America and saved up money the past five years to be able to do what he's just doing right now. And he's going back to do it all over again. The people that are actually, you know, wealthy in America, like Africans that made it are quite humble. They wouldn't come to Ghana unless somebody carried a bottle for them, right? While people who are not like, you know, that educated and stuff like that, that travel, they go and do this manual work and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with it, but they're not going to tell you what they are doing because you're going to lose respect for them, right? The respect, the admiration that you have for those people is not going to be the same or they, at least in their head, they think so. So they're not going to keep it real with you, right? This is the reality on the ground. However, if life is so tough for you here and you get opportunity, by all means go. But I want you to know that, you know, you can make it down here in Africa. I know too many people do making it down here in Africa. I'm a testament of that. I started a business with less than a thousand dollars in Ghana, you know, in 2020 and basically started really operating in 2022. And, you know, it's been way less than two years since I've been active with it. And, you know, that um, is generating a lot of income. So it is more than possible down here to make it. I know way too many people making money down here. The opportunity is endless, right? So if you can manage to make money in Africa, your life is going to be 10 times better. When I was in America making money, life was not like great. You get what I'm saying? Like, let me paint a picture to you. I grew up in New York, right? When I was a millionaire, right? Yes. I became a millionaire at the age of 27. Let, let me pay my life to you. I was living in a one-bedroom apartment in New York City, paying $2,000 a month in rent, amongst other stuff, right? You know, electricity was high. Um, food was really expensive. Uh, getting a massage was really expensive. So though I was a millionaire, my life was nowhere close to the life I'm living now in Ghana. I live in a mansion with solar power, with 11 ACs in the house, with my own gym and all that stuff, my own office. I had one bedroom apartment, one living room, and a kitchen with my wife. That's how I was living in New York City as a millionaire. You could live a much, much bigger life in Ghana with a net worth of $200,000. Your life is much better in Ghana than a millionaire in New York City. Okay, so these are the stuff that I'm, I'm talking from personal experience. This is me and I was self-employed because I was trading the stock market. You just cannot live your life like that. I couldn't hire a driver. I couldn't hire a chef. I couldn't hire a house help. None of that. You can't do it. But in Africa, you can have all of that. You can have, you know, I got a gardener. You have, you know, house help. You have 
somebody to drive you when you're busy it's doable you could live the life that somebody that has about 20 million dollars lives in america right you could live that here it is more than attainable you can have that and so if you can figure a way to make it down here this is the place to be because once you have money down here life is 20 times better right and if we add the fact that most africans are not going to start their own businesses right the educational system just doesn't teach that we hate to take risks and if you add that to the fact that the people who want to even start businesses just don't know where to start from capital wise and all that stuff if you can figure a way to build and snowball your way out doing your own business find the avenue where you know you can make your money mine is real estate and i started my youtube channel partly to share the knowledge that i have share my experiences my difficulties and my success with the audience for you guys in the years to come for you to see how possible it is to build something out of nothing in the long run right you don't have to sell your house in africa to go anywhere if you figure a way to make money to build a house in africa you could figure a way to the same method to get bigger and build a mansion and build a bigger life here you do not have to sell your house to go and clean dishes you know abroad you don't have to however if you are poor and life is so tough you don't know how to go you know you're not business oriented you don't know how to go about it you have no choice but to go and wash dishes or go and you know take care of the elderly or whatever it may be by all means you go for it i'm not discouraging people from doing this at all but what i'm saying is if you've been able to build a house here then you have the potential to make it in africa and you should stick at it and see how you can make it the chinese are coming here with five thousand dollars to their name and becoming rich the lebanese are coming here with five thousand dollars to their name and becoming rich malcolm malcolm was an indian guy you know his father came here was born here he didn't come out of money and he built malcolm that we know today and multi multi million dollar company so why can we not do that for ourselves we are more than capable if you've been able to make one dollar this is how i think right i made one dollar on youtube and i say if i can make one dollar on youtube then i can make five thousand dollars on youtube so if you've made one dollar to build your house then you can make 10 20 million dollars just go bigger don't discontinue that and go to the west and try to go find you know greener pastures right because i know way too many wealthy people in ghana than i ever did in america in america there are a lot of middle class people you know using credit card and us appearing bigger than we actually are but people with real wealth people who are buying you know hundred fifty thousand dollar car in cash people are bu who are buying four hundred thousand dollars houses in cash no mortgage i didn't know many over there if you've not subscribed to the channel already kind of do so like the video it helps with the algorithm Comment, let me know what you think, and until next time, my friends, be legendary. Peace.